What is information technology ethics? As we see here, information technology is any computer-based tool that people use to work with information and support the information and information processing needs of an organization. Although that, that seems to be a mouthful, information technology is nothing more than a new piece of technology that makes the processing of a business's information faster and easier. The ethics part of information technology is very simple. As all the ethics in life pertaining to every other situation are, these are just the principles and standards that guide our behavior toward other people. So with the phrase broken down, it becomes easier to understand the full meaning. Information technology ethics is simply just the ethical use of information about a business's customers. Through ethical decision making, a business can provide a safe environment for each of its customers' personal and private information. Throughout history, we as Americans have been kind of a victim of our own success when it comes to technology. The advent of new technology has shaped the United States and the world for that matter in both negative and positive ways. So when developments in the information technology world were coming about, there were both attractive and unattractive facts about how these new technologies would be used. Being it as it may that these were new systems for business people to use, it didn't take long for people to find ways of using them to their personal benefit rather than that of the company or the business. With this occurrence easily foreseeable, along with new technology came new legislation for business people to follow. In 1974 came our first act related directly to information technology. This is known as the Privacy Act and actually restricts the information that the government can collect on an individual. Along with this, it also allows the individual to access and correct any information that is incorrect or inconsistent. Years later came other acts involving the ethical use of information. Although the government tried to include all things possible in these different types of enacted legislation, it is impossible for them to cover all aspects of information technology. So to make each and every business even better with controlling the use and collection of their information, most businesses have created a privacy policy just for themselves. These policies can be different for each type of business, but basically all have the same structure. The first step is to actually adopt and implement a policy that best fits your type of business. Next, you as a business must give notice and disclosure to anyone on where and how to find the privacy policy. After that, it's important that when the customer has found the privacy policy, they must be able to make a choice and give consent on how their information will be treated and agree to the policy that has been enacted by each and individual business. Lastly, it is important for each business to make a valiant effort to establish processes and mechanisms that allow them to find any problems with customers' information and be able to track these inconsistencies and repair them if possible. Another ethical problem in the workplace is user misconduct. This can come about in many different ways and can be monitored and restricted by different types of technologies. A key logger, for instance, and other monitoring technologies we see here basically all log the information the user is accessing and makes it available for an authorized person to review if ever needed. This gives some deterrent to the user as to where he or she may seek information and how they may use that information once it is found. Even with the advent of new technologies to monitor the use of information, privacy policies, and enacted legislation, it is still a volatile world of information. It is more of a personal choice of the individual user of information rather than that of the business to be ethical. In conclusion, I would just like to give you a personal choice as a future business person. How will you make your choice with information technology? Will you be ethical and legal, or will you make the wrong choice? It's up to you to make it a world safe for everyone's information.